Hello guys, welcome to a new Get Wrecked Gaming News video yet again. I have some spicy news for you guys today. Well, it's not very new news because this news has been out for some time now and it has to do on Red Falls 60 FPS drama. I have seen this the last couple of days and I, I was like, should I make a video on this? Because um, I don't know if this really interests me. And I, to be honest, Redfall still doesn't really interest me. I am actually a big fan of Arcane, but of the Dishonored games and Prey, especially the single player stuff. Deathloop was kind of meh. And Redfall so far from the gameplay that I've seen is also not really getting me hyped yet. But I am willing to give it a chance when the reviews are out and it's going to be a good game. If the reviews say that at least. Um, so what is this whole 60 FPS drama? Basically the developers Arcane posted something on Twitter. That they basically couldn't make a 60 FPS mode on time for launch. Uh, Redfall is launching on Xbox consoles with quality mode only. Xbox Series X is at 4K 30fps. The Series S is at 1440p 30fps. Uh, 60 FPS performance mode will be added via game update at a later date. Now, I don't know if this is the case for PC. I guess PC players can just easily play this game at 60 FPS. It's basically only for the Xbox owners. But uh, a lot of people are, of course, pissed off in the comment section. And especially because it's a first-person shooter-ish. And these games do play better at 60 FPS. So a lot of people are, like, delayed the game. If this mode is not ready for launch, you should delay it. Now, I can give my opinion on it, but my opinion is kind of generic and maybe even a hot take. I don't really care too much for it being 30 FPS as long as it plays good and it's stable. I've grown up in a environment when video games were 30 FPS. So, especially a lot of newer games that were 30 FPS, I've played them and I... It's not that 30 FPS is like absolutely doom and gloom but i will say if a 60 fps mode is available of course i will do that because it's more smoothly more fps is always better yeah it's a nasty situation and th to be honest i don't think they will delay the game for this i think they will just go through with it and release it now what does this really mean for starfield because that is a game i am interested in <laughs> told Howard behind me. We saw the gameplay in a previous like video with Todd Howard announcing the Starfield Direct. That gameplay actually looked pretty smoothly in my eyes. More than 30 FPS in my opinion, but we don't know if that will be a 30 FPS game at launch. I wouldn't be surprised because it's a RPG, an open world RPG, and those games don't tend to launch with 60 fps and if it doesn't launch with 60 fps then yeah i don't care too <laughs> i will be playing it anyways but i get that a lot of people are angry if you want it to change be vocal online on twitter or social media against the developers i can only spread this message further to show off that people are angry and if arcane does want to do something about it but, you know, the whole marketing of Redfall has been kind of messy. Anyways, uh, they had this always online thing. That is actually, I am more angry about that it's always online. A single player game with a story. I want to be able to play that offline without internet. And they did say they would remove that as well. Or try to remove that uh, for launch that the game is not always online i actually care more about that than the frame rate but that that's just my opinion so is arcane going to change anything about that and it's not a very good look for the xbox ecosystem the xbox ecosystem really needs good triple a exclusive i've been saying this for years now um, and Jane Xbox has been buying studios. They are buying publishers even. And so far, they haven't really released actual like the top tier ex 
triple A. I'm talking triple A exclusives like PlayStation is doing with Spider-Man, like Horizon, like God of War. And I still need to see Xbox actually countering PlayStation. And I think Starfield will be that game because it's so ambitious. That might be the only game that's able to get that 90 Metacritic score that Xbox fans want to see now, like an actual AAA success game that is a system seller, you know? That is missing, in my opinion, for Xbox system sellers. Yes, you have Halo, even though Halo Infinite kind of fell off with the live service elements. Yeah, Forza, but let's be honest, Forza is not a... It's, it's not a, a, like a, a game that people are going to buy Xboxes for. So, uh, and Gears, I guess Gears counts, but Gears hasn't released any new game in a few years now. And it's always with Xbox Gears, Halo, Forza, Gears, Halo, Forza, especially in the Xbox One generation. And uh, that has to stop now. <laughs> I'm tired of that. And I, I have an Xbox. It's right there. My Series X. I want to be able to play new, great system seller exclusives on. Uh, this is not a good look for Redfall if it's going to be 30 FPS. To be honest, the graphics of this game aren't really even that impressive for warranting only 30 FPS. I guess Arcane should look at this. If they will delay the game, I don't know. Um, what is your guys' opinion on whole the FPS discussion? Do you always want 60 FPS in your games now? Let me know in the comment section down below. Or are you maybe a bit more like me that on a case-by-case -case basis, yeah, okay, it's fine to have 60 FPS, but I can also play 30 FPS. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I really want to see how many people care about 60 FPS. I, I care about 60 FPS and I would like it if it's there at launch, but if it's not, for me, it's not going to be the end of the world. Let me know in the comment section down below what is your opinion on it. Maybe share the video if you want to spread this message uh, towards Arcane. And while we are at it, please Arcane make a Dishonored 3. <laughs> That's the actual shit I care about. <laughs> Um, thank you guys for watching. As always, like this video that would help me a ton and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more gaming news, leaks and rumors. I always do those. And of course, uh, visit my social media in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next Get Gaming News video. Bye bye.